Hey, curious minds. Get ready for a mind-blowing journey into the world of Lady Liberty. You know, the iconic statue of Liberty that started off all brown and turned into this stunning shade of green. But how did that happen? Well, stick around because we're about to uncover the incredible story behind the Statue of Liberty's magical transformation. If you're excited to dive into the mysteries of this green makeover, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let's embark on this adventure together at a quick note. In the Revolutionary War, America and France became buddies because they both wanted to break free from Great Britain. As a sign of their friendship, France gave the US a cool present called Liberty Enlightening the World. A guy named Frederic Auguste Bartholdi designed it. They sent it over to New York Harbor in 1885, but it came in 350 pieces in 214 crates. The US put it together on a special base they made. Now, it's famous as the Statue of Liberty, and it stands for freedom and democracy worldwide. The Statue of Liberty lives on Bedloe's Island, which they changed to Liberty Island in 1956. Between 1892 and 1943, the statue, often called Lady Liberty, welcomed more than 12 million immigrants arriving on boats at the nearby Ellis Island Immigration Station. On the statue's base, there are words from a poet named Emma Lazarus. Her words express the hopes and dreams of immigrants seeking freedom in America. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest toast to me. Lady Liberty is like a superhero version of a Roman goddess called Libertus. She holds a torch and a tablet that has the date of the Declaration of Independence on it. This cool statue, was created in France using copper sheets and steel supports. A smart guy named Gustave Eiffel made the inside part that lets the statue move when it's windy or the temperature changes. If you visit, you can climb upstairs inside and check out the view from the crown. Interestingly, Eiffel used the same design for the Eiffel Tower in Paris later on. The copper on the statue is super thin, just as thick as two pennies stacked, but surprisingly strong. The amount of copper used in the statue could actually make 30 million pennies. Alright, picture this, when the Statue of Liberty first showed up, it was brown like a giant penny. But as time went on, it didn't just stay brown, it actually turned a cool shade of green. Now, hold up, it's not magic, even though it might seem like it. The trick behind the color change is something called oxidation. It's like when your bike or your car gets a bit rusty, but in this case, it turned the statue green. Think of this green as a superhero shield for the copper. It's called a patina, and it's there to keep the copper safe from getting messed up even more. So, no magic spells here, just a natural makeover for Lady Liberty. Here are some cool facts about Lady Liberty that you might not have known. She's a towering 151 feet tall. Inside her, there's a whopping 62,000 pounds of copper and 250,000 pounds of steel. The pedestal she stands on is a heavy weight, clocking in at 54 million pounds. In the wind, the statue can actually sway, and the tip of the torch can move up to six inches. Check out the crown, it has seven points, each representing the seven seas and continents. Have you ever laid eyes on the Statue of Liberty up close? Maybe you've seen it in pictures or online. What does this big statue mean to you and other people? Who knew a little thing called oxidation could turn the Statue of Liberty into a green goddess? If you enjoyed this journey into the secrets of Lady Liberty's color change, 
show us some love by smashing the like button and subscribing for more intriguing stories. Don't forget to ring that notification bell, so you never miss a revelation. Until our next exploration, this is a quick note, signing off, stay curious.